Sri Prakasa, the 3rd of August 1890 to the 23rd of June 1971, was an Indian politician, freedom fighter and administrator. He served as India's first High Commissioner to Pakistan from 1947 to 1949, Governor of Assam from 1949 to 1950, Governor of Madras from 1952 to 1956 and Governor of Bombay from 1956 to 1962. Shri Prakasa was born in Varanasi in 1890. In his early days, he participated in the Indian independence movement and was jailed. After India's independence, he served as an administrator and cabinet minister. Shri Prakasa died in 1971 at the age of 80. <laughs> early life Shri Prakasa was born on 3 August 1889 or 1890 in Varanasi. He had his schooling at Varanasi and graduated from Cambridge. <inaudible> Indian independence movement Prakasa was arrested during the Quit India movement and was in jail from 1942 to 1944. High Commissioner to Pakistan In August 1947, Shri Prakasa was appointed India's first High Commissioner to Pakistan and served in the post till 1949. During this time, Pakistan was gripped by communal riots and Shri Prakasa had to deal with the influx of refugees to India and the granting of Indian citizenship to migrants. Shri Prakasa had also to represent India's diplomatic interests during Pakistan's invasion of Kashmir. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Governor of Assam. Shri Prakasa served as the Governor of Assam from the 16th of February 1949 to the 27th of May 1949. When Prakasa took over as governor, there were serious disturbances in the eastern parts of the province which were inhabited by the Mizo Hill tribes. The governor pacified the agitators by promising to grant sufficient autonomy as a result, a Lushai Hills Advisory Council was set up. During his short tenure, he secured the accession of Manipur. <laughs> governor of Madras Shri Prakasa served as the governor of Madras from 1952 to 1956. While governor, he took the highly criticized decision to invite politician C. Rajagopalachari to form a Congress government in the state despite the fact that the Indian National Congress did not have a majority and Rajagopalachari was not an elected member of the assembly as he had not participated in the elections. Rajagopalachari requested Prakasa to nominate him to the assembly thereby foregoing the usual process of election by the members of the assembly. However, Rajagopalachari resigned in two years because of strong opposition to his leadership among party ranks. P.C. Alexander, a former Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra governor, viewed the behavior of the governor and the chief minister of Madras in 1952 as one of the most serious breaches of the democratic process. Governor of Bombay Shri Prakasa served as the Governor of Bombay. Notes <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>